this is the thing that it makes me have some level of belief in the Rangers. Um, it's just they are doing a lot of building innings, stacking hit on top of hit. In fact, um, there's a lot of great stats. And if you all want to see stats, Jared Sandler at Jared Sandler on Twitter is always a good place to get those as it pertains to the Texas Rangers. Uh, you mentioned that they are a five and one in their six game road trip here. Um, and what, what was I just looking at? I done lost it. There we go. Um, nope, that wasn't it. Man, I there's a whole bunch of stats in here. Okay, they have outscored their opponents 37 to 6 in their current four game win streak. Including and 24 in their last two games alone. There you go. Batting 526 with runners in scoring position Ooh, over the last four. Right? Like that like is that. that is the thing. <laughs> Timely hitting. Yes. And you know, hitting in bunches, like those things, it seems like they are capable of doing. And of course, we can always do the thing where we point to the fact that they are not playing great teams at times, right? And they're beating up on them. But they also though have also though have uh managed to get wins against teams that were the both of the teams that were in the World Series. This past year. Now, of course, you can point to the Astros and look at the injuries. In fact, you can point to the Phillies and look at the injuries that they had. But um, look, man, you you play who's across from you. And the idea that the Rangers, who looked so lowly last year, have come out and looked like this is fascinating. You talk about the idea of belief. How does this sound like for belief? And this is per bet online. MLB odds to win the 2023 World Series. Atlanta Braves are number one at 6-1. to one. Okay. Astros are still number two. Don't worry about that. Dodgers, Rays... 11th best odds are your Texas Rangers. Now, that's not incredible, but if we had come into the season Whoa. with that, like, I don't know that anybody had Dang. exactly that feeling. That means, and again, eight through 18 games, right? Like, it's not it's, yeah. it's not a huge swath, but through 18 games, you've done enough to catch the eye, you know, the intrigue a little bit of Vegas. And so, with that being the case, I am wildly interested. And on top of that, you've seen the brilliance of Bruce Bochy come out. You've seen the ways that he's been able to help. He's, he's able to build lineups that seem to work without uh, manager bullpen without one of your most important hitters in Corey Seager. Yeah. You mentioned the managing of the bullpen and some of the guys out of the bullpen have looked fantastic. Shout out to Dane Dunning. So, <laughs> and Cole Reagans as well, yeah. you know, give a shout out to them. And mm -hmm. so I am just, I'm fascinated with this team in addition to it, it, it comes at the right time because you had, you really had a, a, a lack of belief because of the way that they had carried on for a few seasons um, and then you have that happen while you have this rejuvenation in baseball because of some of the uh, some of the rule changes. It's really fun. Shout out to the 817 who said they haven't watched this 2013, but haven't missed a game yet. Love the new rules. And I think also implicit in that love the way that the team is playing almost a new team, the way that they're playing. Speaking of 2013, the Texas Rangers 12 and six start. It's off to their best 18 game start since 2013 when the Rangers had an identical record at that point as well. Other things to put context behind their start this year. The 5-1 and one road trip that they just had with Houston and with Kansas City was the club's best six-game road mark since June of 2018 when they went 5-1 and one against the Royals and the Minnesota Twins. So Thanks, Royals. Uh, exactly. We're always looking out for the Rangers. That's I appreciate right. you. And here's where I am. Belief is a little strong for me. Oh, you're not willing to go there yet. Where I will... And willing to go is they've got my attention. Okay, that's fair. They've got my attention because one of the things that we had most concern about, especially for this pitching staff, is can they stay healthy throughout the course of this season, namely Jacob deGrom and his arrival. We knew that this lineup, one through six, was going to be pretty damn good. Now, we didn't obviously see the Corey Seager injury coming, and you're hoping that he comes back and is able to get back and be the kind of player that we know that he has been and is capable of being for the rest of the year. Uh, and yes, from the 469, uh, they a 1,000% they believe. And shout out to Will Smith, who's been terrific from the bullpen um, as well. But the the Rangers have my attention because we've talked about some of this as well. They scored 24 runs in their last couple of games, right? Sometimes they feast or famine offense, an offense that can score a bunch of runs in bunches. At times can go a little quiet on the and, offensive side. And we will continue to monitor that because, again, yeah. 18 games, right? Um, but as of right now, though, Definitely, definitely have got my attention. And more importantly, there's it feels like there's a confidence that this group is playing with. They talk about it all the time, every time Jacob DeGrom gets out there, that you have a chance to win every time that he's on the mound. But more importantly, this manager and the way that he goes about his business, managing this bullpen, instilling confidence in these players day in and day out, you can tell at least by the way this team plays and the way they go about their uh, you know day-to-day -day activities, 
that they believe in who is leading them. And I think that goes a long way for any ball club, young, old, or in, in the middle, that's trying to get to a certain spot. And the Rangers are trying to get to a spot where they're showing not only competitiveness on a day-to-day -day basis, but the ability to win games and to do so at a bet much better rate. And so far, they've done it. Yeah. And they've, I mean, it's it's worth saying they've done it through a little bit of adversity as well. Because from the 469, they mentioned, and you're right, that they dodged a couple bullets with John Gray and uh, Jacob DeGrom. They right? have. Where those guys came out early in games, right? Uh, John Gray due to the comebacker that hits him in the forearm. Jacob DeGrom due to some wrist soreness. That and happens. it looks like he's going to be good to go for his next exactly. start. He's going to yeah. make his next start, right? Yeah. Like the, at least, again, 18 games in. I feel like that's the, mm -hmm. you know, that is the caveat that I have to put on anything that we say. Um, the care that they have taken with them has, has seemed to pay off very early. And on top of that, what you've also proved is a spot that we thought was a weak spot on this team. The bullpen has been able to be a cover because we were looking at it as the starting rotation is going to have to cover the bullpen. And early on, it has actually worked the other way in some ways. Obviously, the you know starters have had a good amount of quality starts in here. But, um, you know, being able to have the bullpen, being able to have Cole Reagans and Dane Dunning specifically uh, be able to step up. And then we can also talk about Will Smith and some of the other guys. But those guys specifically come in and eat innings when you needed them to. And, I mean, Dane Dunning threw, what, 60-plus uh, pitches uh, to help DeGrom when he came out mm -hmm. and it had a fantastic outing. like that. I love the role that he's in right now is that long reliever being able to give you multiple innings right. and give you still quality out there on the mound. Speaking of that, because again, like I, mm -hmm. I've already made the point about the bullpen, should the need uh, arise with you know the idea that you no longer have Jake Odorizzi, who, who will not pitch for the Rangers this season That's because right. of uh, the, the shoulder injury that he had, if you if the need arises and injury does come to your doorstep, do you like the idea of stretching out Dane Dunning to get him back into the rotation, or do you think maybe you go to AAA and and look at one of those guys to start instead? Um, if he needs to be a spot starter every now and then, that's okay. But he's clearly found himself in a rhythm now in this role that he has mm -hmm. that you allow him to continue to develop that, especially now that the way the game has changed in terms of the speed of play, stamina is going to be important. And if he can get used to the rhythm and day-to-day -day work that he's going to be having as a long reliever, I think that bodes well for him. And hopefully as the season goes on as well, you're able to get deeper starts from these guys. Martin Perez today, you know, three runs over five and two thirds, you know, and the bullpen was able to take the, you know, the rest of the day, you know, for him. So I like the direction that this team is going. Look, good teams beat the ones that they're supposed to beat. And that's exactly they beat the mess out of them. Yeah. They Royals. dog walked the, the Royals all week long. And that's what they needed to do uh, as they get ready to come home as uh, they are off tomorrow. But they get back on the diamond on Friday. And ironically, it's City Connect night. And guess who's the player that's going to be featured on Friday night? Who's that? Marcus Simeon. I mean, deservedly so. Yeah, because he's on a special heater right now. An absolutely special heater. So Rangers get the win today. 12-3, to 3, 24 runs in their last two games. The Keep first place. Texas Ooh, Rangers. That sounds so good. How about that? First place. It.